you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Today's Patreon question for Ask Camp Kennan comes from Praveen Nambala, and she asked about her young sulcata tortoises. In fact, she's got one that's only a few months old, and she wants to introduce another one, and she has done that, but she's noticed the older one is kind of nibbling on the younger one, and she wants to know, should she separate them? I would watch them for a little bit, because sulcatas can be very aggressive tortoises. This is my buddy Lumpy. Now Lumpy I've had since 2004 when he was only that big and came down, oh he's on my foot, good grief people. Gosh Lumpy, oh, since 2004 <laughs> uh, from my good friend Mike Crutali up in Long Island. He was getting too big and Mike said, this thing only does a couple of things. It eats and poops. So I wound up taking Lumpy and he's much happier here, but Lumpy's tough. In fact, Lumpy killed a 150 pound sulcata tortoise a few years back and it was a bum. It was a total bummer. He killed my buddy Zeus. So you gotta watch sulcatas because if they do get too aggressive, you're gonna have to separate them. So what I would suggest you do is keep an eye on it. If he continually tries to bite the other tortoise or bully him away from food, I would separate them and get that little guy a little bit bigger. And this is also why when folks ask me, should I buy one or two tortoises? I always say, guys, buy two. Because number one, I wouldn't want to go through without uh, life alone without another member of my species to share it with. And the other reason is eventually you're going to want another tortoise. And it's better to start out with two because you raise them together. They're the both size. And when they're young, they really can't hurt each other if they bully. And if they're the same size, you raise them all up, they get used to each other, and you have less problems, even if there are two males that have been uh, brought together. And the funny thing is, Tom, filming over here, asked me a question, why do I have two different groups of sulcatas? Because we've got Hercules and his gang on the other side of my property, and then you got Lumpy and the other uh, nine tortoises that live in this enclosure. And the reason is, this is a, a group that I've had for many, many years. They produce eggs happily, there's enough males in here, uh, there's two males to the to the ratio of females which is eight um, I don't have a lot of combat issues just during breeding season um, it's a nice balanced group so what happens is if you're building a group and you are um, adding new animals every time you add a new animal it upsets the balance so if I add a new animal to this group male or female things are going to get chaotic. So I don't like to mix my sulcata tortoises together because I want to keep them happy and keep them laying eggs and, uh, you know, keep uh, any injuries from happening. You saw what happened a few months back when we visited Bob Loam's place out in Arizona. Uh, uh, update on that animal, it's doing great. It's healing fantastically. So we were able to save that male sulcata that got into a little bit of a scrap with another male. So anyhow, I hope that answers your question. Thanks for being a supporter of ours on Patreon. And folks, don't forget to go to the Camp Kennan Army channel, subscribe, and subscribe also to the Camp Kennan channel right here because you'll get a lot of information, a lot of fun videos, and the Camp Kennan Army, we want to see your videos of your habitats and your pets. Just make sure these animals are all kept in the best possible condition because that's what the Camp Kennan Army is all about. See you guys. Oh, wait, he's gone. There's one over there.